And welcome to Morning Coffee. I am Mark Cook, and my voice is struggling after a weekend of concerts. My goodness, Billy Joel and Hall and Oates, if I screamed more in 48 hours, I don't think it's ever possible. Jiminy Crickets. You hear this thing? Yeah, you sound like, uh, I don't know, you sound raspy. Oh, man, it hurts, believe me, but I'm going to be just fine. Don't worry about me. We're going to get through it. This is Damian Musiani, and we are jumping right into things this morning with Mark Morgan, who is the artistic director over at the Morristown Theater Company. Good morning, Mark Morgan. How are you today? Great, man. Well, thank you for having me today. Oh, you're welcome. So let's just jump right into it, because next Thursday night, it, the show goes down, brother. It's The Little Mermaid. <laughs> that, uh, we open our all-ages show. We cast from six to, oh boy, if I said the oldest age of the female oldest cast member, I'd probably be struck by lightning, but <laughs> let's just say she's a grandmother. Uh, 52 cast members, uh, wow. young kids in their first show, uh, middle school, high school, teenage, college, parents. Uh, we have, it's, a, it's an uh, accurate casting. So like King Triton is a 50 year old male uh, and his daughter Ariel is double cast. Uh, they're both in their 20s. Uh, so. Uh, all ages, you'll come see the show. We're the first community theater in the Delaware Valley to do The Little Mermaid this year. Some high schools have done it, some other groups south of us and around us, after us, but we're the first ones to debut. Awesome. Yeah, Disney's that is, the that is great. I mean, the one thing that struck me when you gave the description was you have 52 people in the cast. Yeah. That, that's a ton of people, especially yeah. when you're dealing with a lot of actors who've probably never taken the stage before. What's that undertaking like? Uh, lo it's a, I always say it's a big jigsaw puzzle. So many pieces to put together. We just had our first rehearsal on the stage we're performing in last night. So we're getting used to the stage. It's like when baseball players, they go to a new baseball stadium, they're getting used to throwing balls off the fence to see how the balls bounce. We have to get used to the stage. Mm -hmm. So we're doing all the traffic, ins and outs, exits and such, placements for dance numbers, seeing how we fit. That's not talking about adding sets, props, uh, costumes, sound light, uh, video, all those added pieces of the puzzle come in this next week. The cast has you know, memorized their songs, their uh, dialogue lines, their dance steps. That we've been doing for two and a half months. Now it's those, the tech end of it. Yeah, putting, putting it all together, you know, and, and just to let everybody kind of behind the curtain here, you've, you had the venue in place and then it kind of fell through and shifted, but you guys, you always are on top of everything. So, in nine days, you basically have to pull off this whole thing. You just found out that the venue that you're having it at, you know, kind of uh, solidified the, the date. So you're kind of up against the, uh, the gun a little bit. Talk about logistically how difficult is it going to be to get everything done in the next nine days. I know you're going to do it, but... Well, the old saying, the show must go on. We'll, we always find a way. Uh, we normally performed at the middle school in Morristown last nine summers, but there's a new roof getting put on, space not available. And we were told that in plenty of time. We made alternate, alternate arrangements, but something happened there about a month or so ago, and it fell through, so we were scrambling. I've been to every church and school within five-mile radius of Morristown trying to see if we could find somewhere else. And then we just uh, put an emergency appeal into the Hope Community Church on Main Street in Morristown where we do our summer camp. We're already doing four shows there. And, have been there for the last six years or so. And in fact, uh, Little Mermaid will be the 50th show we'll have performed out of our 116 will be at this Hope Community Church. Wow. But it, it's a lot for them to do the four camp shows. So we uh, just said, please, please, please. And they met Sunday morning after their service and said, all right, we'll find a way. We'll make it work. Uh, we have a great relationship between Hope Community Church and the Morristown Theater Company. And so I was told Monday or Sunday at uh, like noon, yes, you're here. Thank goodness, because that might Backup all choice was an unair conditioned school. Well, that would have been tough. In yeah, July to go yeah, on air yeah, conditioned would, would not have worked. So yeah. uh, we did find it out. We performed on this stage, but never with all ages. Right. So it is a, a little bit of a difference as we're finding out last night. Tonight we have another run through. This weekend's the biggie. I mean, I mean, actually, with with no air conditioning, I would think the Little Mermaid. It's like a nautical tale. Everybody's sweating and wet anyway. <laughs> it would look authentic. Yeah, it would kind of be like yeah. an underwater production almost. <laughs> yeah, we could have framed it that way if we had to. Yeah, well, listen, I want to give a big thank you and a big shout out to the Hope Community Church for really stepping up. That's that's awesome to make sure that this show goes on as scheduled as planned. You guys put so much hard work into it. You know, it's really great to get to see it all come together and, and, and really make it happen. You know, you guys, you, you focus primarily uh, on kids, most, most shows. But this, 
you know, a little different. You, last year you did, um, it was Mary Poppins, right? Correct. And you, and you had some, an old ages show. It was like kind of like a new thing you guys are doing. So tell me about the future. Is it this, this is going to keep happening uh, uh, pretty regularly? Um, well, we, we actually have been doing it every year. Uh, okay. Uh, it, our very first show was Annie in 2003 and that was an all ages show so it, in truth we've been doing an all ages show every year and, and we've added the kids shows around that oh okay so uh, i'm sorry uh, to correct you there yeah uh, no, no no it's fine i just i forgot that i was sitting in 2005 I forgot that it was 11 years ago, right? It, it, they, okay. they were really good concerts he went to over the weekend. There, twice I had to hop in my time machine this morning already. And, uh, you know, it's, it, look, guys, it might be a rough one. It, look, you know, it happens. So, let's, so then the main stage shows for adults, you do one a year or is it a whole season? Uh, we've done one a year. Uh, we usually do a fall musical for adults only. And we also have a, a fun thing called Seasons and Songs, which isn't a musical, but where we'll do a scene from A Few Good Men, then a song from Hair, then a scene from uh, uh, Steel Magnolias, then a scene, a musical number from Les Mis. Uh, we're doing that in September, our third time doing that. So we have a couple of things that adults can do. Right. This fall, we normally do an adult musical and a kid musical around Thanksgiving. This fall, we're doing a Christmas carol as the post-Thanksgiving show, the first two weeks of December. That's going to be all ages. First time That's we're doing fun. an all ages show, not in, in addition to the summer one. Right, mm -hmm. right. So, uh, that, yeah, so we'll be doing a second one of those this year, the big big experiment, and we'll see if that's worth doing going forward. Mark, there's a lot of actors who are in the making in the Delaware Valley. They, they want to get into it, or their parents want them to get into it, and it's something where they might not necessarily be, you know, all on board, but uh, they're encouraged to take that first step. Now, to get involved in a camp, are there classes that go along with that? How we do, do kids get involved? We do classes year-round from September to May, uh, but come June when we start summer camp, we're different from most theater or performing arts camps where they're just rehearsing a show morning and afternoon. We do do classes in the morning. So uh, right now we, in fact, open The Sound of Music tomorrow night. Wow. Uh, 83 kids. You thought 52 was Yeah, tough. yeah. 83 kids in The Sound of Music. They're on stage right now doing a run-through. Uh, normally we'll do classes with them uh, the first two weeks of camp. They'll rotate through drama, improv music and a dance class and dance alternates every day between jazz tap and ballet so we give them a, all the components to be a well-rounded musical theater performer but afternoons those first two weeks they're rehearsing but now we're in tech week this is mm -hmm. production week we do th three weeks we put a show together so yesterday was the first day on the stage for that group at hope community church so my little mermaid people at night are rehearsing around a sound of music set so it's a little crazy and, juggling yeah, the two shows. Wow. Are they doubled up? Because I'm sure some are in both. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and I asked yesterday, of the 83 kids in Sound of Music, 13 of them have never been on stage before. So we do <laughs> wow. have some rookies. About 10 of them are doing both. And some of my staff from the summer camp are in the Sound of Music. So the kids in Sound of Music are excited to come see Little Mermaid because they'll get to see Miss Caitlin, who is their dance right. teacher, perform. Or even me, I'm playing the part of Grimsby, the, the <laughs> ballet to Prince Eric. Nice. So they're going to get to see Mr. Morgan up there uh, singing oh, and dancing fun. a little bit. They're so, going to love that. Yeah, so uh, it's a good combination. We pitch that back and forth. Sound of Music kids, come see Little Mermaid. I said to the Little Mermaid cast last night, got to come see Sound of Music this yeah. week. So it, it's a back and forth, a uh, good relationship. It's a synergy between the cast. That's Absolutely. Good. That's that is a good, good thing. Absolutely. So now if a kid gets involved, I mean, 83, 82, 82 kids? Yeah. So they get involved with the summer camp. How many years before they kind of move on to the adult productions? Or um, I mean, some some will jump in and do, uh, like I said, some are doing both right now. Mm -hmm. uh, for our all ages show in, in July every year for the Little Mermaid this year, we do a, a, a quirky rule that if you're six to uh, twelve, a preteen, you must have an adult relative be on stage with you, not selling tickets, not painting sets, mm -hmm. not doing costumes, singing and dancing with you. Because that Annie we did in year one, we figured, oh my gosh, we're going to get 40 orphans and like, who's going to play right. all the adult roles? Yeah, right. Annie's not a kid show. Right. As much as people think it's, oh, little girls and cute, it's, you need FDR's cabinet, you need the Hooverville bums, you need F uh, uh, Daddy Warbucks. Warbucks's yeah, yeah. Uh, maids and butlers. Uh, there's, a, there's more for adults to do in Annie than kids. So we put that rule in that first year. We had 40 kids, we had 40 adults, nine teenagers, and a dog. So we had 90 cast members that first year. Uh, so we did it that first year, and we've continued it every year since. Sometimes we lose kids. Parents say, oh, I can't do this. We say, well, maybe Grandma can. Maybe yeah. Uncle's 
you know, get Johnny Kent. Step right? in and be Rooster Cogburn or something. Right. So we, we, we have, we have uh, several times with the grand, grandmother and grandchildren or aunt and niece or uncle and, and nephew. So it's a little quirky rule. We lose some people. We also get some adults who've never done this, and we they say, "Oh, you forced me to do it." And by the end of the summer, they're like, "What's next summer?" Yeah, they love they it. They love it. Right. They get bitten yeah. by the bug. Once you try it, it it's not, dr uh, you know, it's not drudgery. It's fun. Yeah, that's awesome. His name is Mark Morgan. We got to take a quick break, but we'll be right back here on Morning Coffee. Stick around. Simply Gents, located in Marlton, New Jersey, takes care of all your grooming needs, including haircuts, straight razor shaves, massages, facial, manicures, pedicures, and waxing. To find more information or book an appointment, visit us online at www.simplygents.com. The secret weapon of a well-groomed man, Simply Gents. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to make a really great sub, this is what we do. It's what we've been doing. It's what we've always done. It's what we'll always do. So what are you doing? Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Martha, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Today's show was brought to you by Alicia Kelly of Whitehorse RV Center in Williamstown, New Jersey. Alicia is your RV expert. Contact Alicia at alicia at whitehorserv.com or give her a call at 856-262-1717 extension 203 when you think of rv think alicia kelly when it's time for jersey mics to give a sub some sizzle this is the way the way it's always been the way it always should be the way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Extra Innings is the nation's premier indoor baseball and softball training center featuring indoor batting cages, seven multi-use tunnels, and training rooms. Extra Innings can provide professional instruction, private and group lessons, and the best year-round clinics. Along with a nationally recognized pro shop that features the latest and widest selection of equipment and apparel, our experienced staff can provide you with the right instruction and help you find the best equipment for your ability and budget. Extra innings where the game never ends. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. Welcome back to Morning Coffee. I am Mark Cook, sitting next to Damian Musiani, and we are continuing with Mark Morgan, artistic director over at the Moore South Theater Company. So, Mark, we got to uh, right now. I got to get everybody out to see The Little Mermaid next Thursday night, which is July twenty first. Twenty first, my mother's birthday. You can celebrate my mom's <laughs> birthday by going to see The Little Mermaid at the Hope Community Church. Mark, how do we get tickets? MooresTownTheaterCompany.org. Or you can call us, 856-778-8357, uh, 856-778-8357, or at the door, although we do tend to sell out. So I'd recommend going online. They're all reserved seats, so that way you get to pick out your own seat if you right. go online. And, that, and people should know that they're 12 bucks. Any seat in the house is 12 bucks. They're all awesome seats. It's, it's a reserved seat, so it, it's worth it. Look, people are going to say, oh, do you do kids' tickets? Do you do whatever? Well, no, we don't charge... Uh, a high amount. We charge a middle, median, low amount so that everybody can afford it. Every seat is 12 bucks. MoreSouthTheaterCompany.org. That's the best place to go to make sure that you can get your seat because look, your casts are big, which means a lot of family members are coming to buy these tickets. So get your tickets now. 
More Sad Theater Company dot org. I know Damien's got got uh, a few more questions for you, right? Well, no, I mean, the, the price is right. I mean, you're yeah. not going to find a twelve dollar show Nowhere. in South Jersey. You know. Well, Nowhere. and let me just say that's for Sound of Music that's opening this week, mm -hmm. and later on when we do Alice in Wonderland and Les Mis and Broadway Kids, they're all twelve dollars. Little Mermaid is seventeen for all the seats uh, for Little Mermaid. All Still right. lower than any yeah, other community all, all theater right, exactly. around. Oh, Listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got so much going on, I can't keep all these numbers straight. Mark, you got these shows over here, you got these it's, tickets over there. It's like, I can't keep it all straight, but $17 still, at less than 20 bucks a ticket. That's, right. that's really affordable. Yeah. And, and for what you get, it, it, it's so it's so worth it. I have to ask this. How are you doing a child's production of Les Mis? It's... Well, that's, it's just <laughs> yeah, teenagers. Awesome. We... we uh, Session one is uh, Sound of Music, six to seventeen year olds. Mm -hmm. Session two is Alice in Wonderland, six to seventeen year olds performers. Right. Session three is just teenagers. That's where we're doing okay. Les Mis. Session four is just preteens. So we do this review. We call Broadway Kids. We write it. We put it together. We'll throw a song from Wicked. We'll throw a song from Finding Neverland. Things that are on Broadway right now that we can't do the shows, the right. full lengths. Mm -hmm. But we can, you know, the young kids love doing things like that. They sure. Oh, the teens don't get to do this. We get to do Wicked. Yeah. They're so pumped. But the teens love doing a show without the little kids underfoot. Absolutely. So uh, we are cheating a little bit. Normally we do a show. Last year, teen show was Legally Blonde. We start on a Monday. Following Wednesday, we're performing. Eight days later, we couldn't do Les Mis in eight days. So <laughs> right. we, we threw some June rehearsals in. We auditioned in June, uh, end of May, Saturday, June rehearsals, just to go through all the music and, sure. and the blocking. So when we come in for the first day of camp on Monday, August 8th, instead of auditioning and then starting from scratch, uh -huh. they will all be off book, ready to go, and we have a week to run that show. And it's a school edition, not a junior, which means it's probably close to an hour and 45, maybe even closer to two hours versus a junior that's an hour and 15, or a kid's that's an hour. So you have to cut some of the songs. You... Yeah, yeah, they've done that to people in New York. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, and it was really cool. Last time Mark was here, he was telling us about how because they don't do Les Mis in schools, like every kid, every theater kid in the area tried to get in this show yeah. because there's no opportunity to do sure. Les Mis anywhere else. Sure. That's so cool, Mark. And it really has is. a lasting image with their parents. And, yes. you know, because I remember as a kid growing up, the, the shows that were big, you know, as a kid, my sister was always going out and auditioning for. So, uh, you know, like I have like the King and I songs in my head that, that shouldn't be in a normal little kid's head, but right. you know, I'm stuck with them. <laughs> so I'm sure, you know, these kids have grown up with one day more, you yeah. know. Oh, you should come on. audition. Good, good voice there. <laughs> another day, another symphony. Oh, he's ready. Uh, in fact, I, I'm a numbers uh, uh, stat guy. Uh, baseball's my favorite sport, so a little back of baseball cards. We have 55 kids in Les Mis. I checked how many different schools they're from. 19 different high schools from South Jersey are represented, six middle schools. So out of 55 kids, we have 25 different schools represented. And it's like an all-star cast because it's like the best of the best from different schools. We have kids from schools we've never seen before who came out because it's Les Mis. That's really awesome. cool. Mark, we are crunched for time this morning. So here's the deal. you got to look over in the camera one and give them the spiel, brother. Hit them. All right, morristowntheatercompany.org. 856-778-8357. Sound of Music runs six performances starting tomorrow night at 7 o'clock at Hope Community Church. The next two weekends is Disney's The Little Mermaid, the area premiere for community theaters. Over two weekends, eight performances. The week after that is Disney's Alice in Wonderland, six performances. We take one week off, then it's Les Mis for six performances, and then Broadway Kids for six performances. Five shows, 34 performances in seven weeks at the Morristown Theater Company this summer. That's it, folks. You have the rest of your year planned out. Thanks so much for joining us, Mark. We'll be right back with more Morning Coffee right after this.